Ah, the all-powerful eraser. Sometimes it's better to start with a clean sketch or remove sections of a sketch. We already know how to erase single elements by selecting the element and pushing delete on the keyboard. However, what if we want to select multiple elements at the same time? If I come up here to the upper left-hand corner, if I click and drag, I can drag a little selection box over several elements that I want to delete or work with. Click on that, and notice right away they didn't show up as highlighted. Sometimes the graphics cards don't automatically do that, so if you just change your zoom level just slightly, you'll see they all show up. Okay, now all three of those elements are shown, and that's great. But what happens if I create a selection box and I only select the top two completely and only a portion of the third element? In this case here, the top two are selected, but the last one was not because of the way I selected those items. Now the alternative way to do that is go from the lower right-hand corner to the upper left-hand corner. In this case here, any element that the selection box touches will automatically select it. So notice here, all three of those are selected because of the way I selected those. Same thing over here, if I have the circle here, if I go from upper left to lower right, it selects only that circle. And if I go from the lower right to the upper left, it selects both of them. So pretty handy, quick way to select multiple items. And of course, we've already been using it quite a bit, but if you hold on to control, you can select multiple items just by holding on control and clicking on any one of those items you want. When you're done with that, hit escape or click anywhere else and you're done. Also, if you've made multiple changes to your design, you can always use the undo command. So undo is right up here at the top of the screen and you can use control Z as well, or you can click on the drop down arrow next to it and you can see all the different changes we made to the sketch and you can step back either one step or several of them. If you made an undo change and you want to go back and redo that change, go ahead and click on edit. And if you don't see anything you can't redo, we've got to make sure we undo something first. And of course, go over here, go to redo, and it redoes that action. Sketching is the fundamental building block in SolidWorks, and removing sketch elements is almost as useful as creating them in the first place. Simple sketches are best, and multiple sketches across multiple features oftentimes make a design easier to work with. I also wanted to point out that in SolidWorks 2014, they've now added the history folder to the feature manager. And what this keeps track of is major changes like features and major sketch changes. It's not extremely helpful for sketch level changes, but on big changes to your design, it keeps track of all the different changes that are happening in the model.